Hey Capricorn, welcome to Shared Sentience. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate it. This is going to be a general reading for you guys for the next three days. Um, so let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, you guys can check out the social media pages. I post daily energies on Instagram and Facebook. I also have a Patreon page, so for $15 monthly, you can get um, access to extended readings for all 12 signs, as well as any bonus content that will go over there. Okay, so Capricorn, Capricorn, what's going on for Capricorn? These readings can apply to anything, you guys, not just love, so I want you to keep that in mind, okay? <clears throat> I also don't read in a straight line, so if the message isn't resonating in the beginning, stick around or skip around. You may find something that clicks with you, okay? So, Capricorn. Alright, I like this a lot. So, the overall energy, though, is still this. Hmm. It doesn't feel like a stagnant energy, truthfully. It just seems like you're, you're really taking in your surroundings, okay? You have fulfillment. You have diligence, and you have abundance. Okay, so let's get the tarot out, see what the tarot has to say. Then we'll be clarifying with my little mini tarot deck, and then we'll do some dominoes and runes and see uh, what we get. Okay, so what's going on with fulfillment for Capricorn in the next three days? <clears throat> Two of Wands. Mars and Aries. Looks like it's going to be pretty relaxed. I feel like you're working on something here, all right? But it doesn't feel like it's anything that's, um, you know, like strenuous or anything of that nature. That's what I'm feeling there with diligence. But also I feel like it's something that is very, uh, it comes very natural to you, okay? You have the Page of Cups as well. Some of you, you could be spending time with someone here. Uh, in the Two of Wands, there are two people meeting, right? So uh, there could be some kind of conversation that's had here, uh, more specifically between you and a water sign here. Somebody's spilling something to you with the Page of Cups energy. So we'll see what that's about here in just a moment. But what's going on with diligence? There is an emotional message coming through. I feel like it is going to make you very happy with, with this showing up to clarify uh, fulfillment, okay? Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. Like I said, I feel like you're working really hard at something, but it doesn't seem like it's anything strenuous. I don't know how to explain the energy here. I feel like something just comes so easy to you. It just doesn't even feel like work. What else is going on here for Capricorn? The hair font, okay, Taurus energy. Yeah, you're very committed to making something happen here, okay? I also feel like this could be you just kind of putting in the work with a person, okay? This could be a Taurus for some, but I feel like it is going to be something of long-term stability, okay? Uh, so, yeah. I feel like this could be a coming together with a person that you've had a falling out with. It doesn't seem like you ended on bad terms or anything of that nature, all right? So, I feel like that cancels out a lot of stories, <laughs> but I don't feel like this ended on bad terms, truthfully. Give me abundance. What's going on with abundance, please? For Capricorn next three days. I feel like whoever this is coming in here, you guys, um, whoever you're meeting with here, it could lead to marriage, okay, or a higher level of commitment. We have Sun and Capricorn energy here with the Four of Pentacles under abundance. Some of you feel like you're having to guard something here. Six of Wands, um, Jupiter and Leo. We have the um, we have the five. No, that's not the Five of Wands. I'm sorry, the Seven of Wands as your overall energy here. Alright, so that's Mars and Leo, but it can be a card of leveling up. What's going on with the Two of Wands, Page of Cups, Energy under Fulfillment? Two of Wands, Page of Cups, Energy under Fulfillment, please, for Capricorn, next three days. The hair font. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you guys, this this over here I know is all the same story for the most part. Aside from those of you who are working on something here that just comes very natural to you, I think it is going to bring you a lot of abundance and fulfillment. What's going on here with diligence with the Ten of Pentacles and the hair font, okay? We have the Justice card. Yeah, what you put in, you're going to receive in return. Basically, that's what the Justice card means. So the work that you're putting into, whether this is a project or this connection here, I truthfully feel like you're going to get exactly what you put in. All right. What's going on with the Four of Pentacles and the Six of Wands? Some of you, if this is a connection, it could involve a Libra. 
Four of Pentacles and the Six of Wands under abundance next three days for Capricorn. Judgment, okay. Scorpio and Aries energy. I feel like some of you guys, you could be a little bit on the fence. Not on the fence necessarily, but on, on defense, okay. Uh, you could be a little bit on guard um, when it comes to something that you're... Some of you, you may be in a space where you feel like somebody is around you for your money, okay. Or they're around you for your status or your wealth or something of that nature here. Um, I don't know why I'm getting that, but I am, I guess, with the Six of Wands, because maybe you get a lot of recognition or something of that nature here with the Six of Wands energy. Um, let's get a couple more out here for this. Others of you, I feel like this is just, this truly is a need to protect from new energies that are coming in. And again, like I said, with this person over here, I feel like this is someone that you've already dealt with, but I think that for those of you who are dealing with this energy here, it's like new people are kind of moving in, um... Yeah, definitely use your discernment here. The star card, Aquarian energy. Because this, the reason that I say this is because I feel like this is after you have this abundance. After you have some kind of new beginning, Queen of Pentacles, and things are going really well for you. People want to come back in here, all right? Uh, Four of Wands, I think they want to celebrate with you, be a part of something now. Now that you've laid down roots elsewhere, now that you're getting recognition and attention, and you know you're having, your Pentacles are right. I just feel like this could be an Aquarius or a Scorpio or Aries, you guys, but that's what I'm feeling here. The Seven of Wands could be an energy of like blocking some one out okay I feel like you're having to fight off certain people here because I feel like you've closed things out with these people in the past and now that you're at the top of the wheel here they're wanting to come back in and it's not necessarily that they want to disrupt things it doesn't really feel like that to me it feels like they just want to be a part of this okay and just you attaching yourself and associating with these energies here is going to bring in chaos it is going to disrupt things so they want you to know that right now okay so yeah there's really a need to use your discernment here stillness I feel like this is you really needing to like read the energies of the people that you're around okay yeah, and protect yourself at all costs, all right? So, uh, let's go ahead and get the dominoes out for you here, Capricorn. What's going on? Okay. Unexpected fortune is pretty much showing up right over top of the Ten of Pentacles, so I find that cool. Zero to six, okay? But there's also some something unexpected that comes with this fortune. Now, fortune, it sounds like you're going to, like, hit the water or do something crazy like that. It can just mean something that, you know, you really value, okay? But I do feel like this is money, all right? I feel like you guys, um, you know, are leveling up when it comes to your Pentacles, all right? You're, you're more stable than you ever have been. And I feel like new things are coming in, all right? Uh, so, you, again, you want to be mindful of that. We have a uh, five one. All right, so there are changes within you as well, and I feel like a journey may actually, uh, like a physical journey, may actually bring you uh, some kind of clarity about something that's going on within an, with an, within a connection. Okay, so I feel like some kind of travel for some of you guys is going to bring you clarity here. Okay. It could involve a Leo or an Aries, okay? Maybe a Virgo for some. We have zero or three as well, so something unexpected with your money is going to take place here. Let's get the runes out and see what's going on here. What's flipping over? Some of you could receive a gift if you're traveling here. All right. You're also being reminded to take something with you. There's something that you may always carry with you when you're traveling here. Um, so there's a reminder here for someone when it comes to that. It's going to be for someone specific. Capricorn. What else? I just needed to make sure that nothing else flipped. Okay. Um, so yeah, under the 5-1 tile here, there is going to be some kind of shakeup within a connection and within you. And I feel like there's something significant about a physical journey um, that's going to bring you a gift, okay, or a blessing, all right? You do have fulfillment right here. So some of you, you could be meeting up with a person. This could be, you know, say you go to a gathering and you see someone, you know, that you kind of drifted away from. I feel like this is going to start something up between the two of you. It could be something like that. You know, it's just an example. It's not going to, of course, resonate with everyone. Um, but we have this room here that talks about cycles, consequences, results. Okay, so I feel like if you're waiting on results, you're going to be getting the results you wanted, especially because Gabo is here. It represents a gift. You also have a, a Thal, though, a rune of inheritance. Okay, but again, I feel like there's something here that you've been carrying with you, and it's showing up right over top of the hair font. Okay. So yeah, I, I definitely feel like this is someone that you've held on to for a while or that you just have a soft spot for or it's possible that they have a soft spot for you, but I feel like things are starting back up with an old flame here. We have Sawilo as well, which is like honor, recognition, like I said, and I feel like this is all because of the seeds that you're planting here. Things are starting to move and grow. I feel like you've already planted these seeds, truthfully, okay? That is a rune of fertility. 
and you have this rune that represents like movement and communication. I feel like this is where that movement is coming in. This is where people are addressing you, talking to you, things of that nature. They're wanting to know what's up with you and how you've gotten to this space of wealth, okay? I feel like it's material wealth, but you know, you could just be very um, like youthful all around. I feel like you have this youthful energy about you. Uh, people want to know how you've gotten to this place here. You have Uru's, a rune of strength, survival, endurance, a gateway. Yeah, I feel like you're stepping into, you're like in a totally different world from these people, which makes sense with the world card, right? Um, um, but I feel like you used to be in, in this space with them, you know, in this tower energy, in this seven of pentacles, just when is it my turn? And it is your turn, okay? And they can have their turn too, but you know, I feel like the, whoever this is, they're in a space where they just kind of want to um, ride your coattail in a sense. That's how that feels. So that's what I'm seeing here for you, Capricorn. Um, I do hope that this was helpful. You guys are more than welcome to watch out for your other signs, okay? Uh, you can also check out the uh, social media pages with the daily energies, and you can join my Patreon page if you would like. But if this is where we part, thank you so much for watching and supporting me and you all enjoy your next three days. Bye.